Okay, it's Frankie Cola here. So you have a girl's number. How do you turn it into a date? That is the question that we'll be asking in this video. We'll also go over some examples of effective ways and effective texts that can be used to get a girl out on a date. But before we go over that, it is important to know the critical mistakes guys make, and you might be making too, if you're texting a girl you like and you want to get her to go out with you. The first critical mistake is getting into long interview style questions that bore her or even annoy her. When you're trying to start a text conversation with a girl you like, you might run out of ideas of what to say. So you go into something called interview mode. This is when you ask her questions about where she's from, what school she went to, and other small talk. This logical and boring conversation won't get you anywhere close to getting the girl out. Instead, it will probably end in the girl not texting you back eventually. And then the next time you text her, she'll anticipate a similar conversation. So there's a good chance she won't reply to the first message of your next conversation. The second mistake is thinking that sending her lots of texts gets her closer to liking you. In the past, I used to go for long text conversations with a girl, thinking incorrectly that the more I texted a girl, the more she got to know me and the closer she would be to liking me. A lot of guys also think the same way, and what happens is that they end up in the friend zone. See, when a girl realizes you're not making a move, she'll rationalize that you're being a friend, and so in her mind, she'll label you as a friend. The third mistake, and it's probably one of the most common mistakes, is waiting for enough proof that she likes you. That is, waiting for enough proof that she likes you before asking her out. A woman communicates indirectly, and most of the time, she won't tell you directly that she likes you. You have to make a bold move, in the midst of uncertainty, to find out if she likes you. Here's a real and unfortunate fact. When a girl gives you her number, you have a small window of opportunity to make a move. That means turning that number into a date, or anything that gets you into a face-to-face -face interaction with a woman. For every day that goes by, without asking her out, your chances of making her your girlfriend or your lover diminish. Now let's talk about ways to ask her out over text, and I'll give you some examples. Number one, know any? The purpose of this text is to suggest a date activity in a fun way. For example, I feel like watching Star Wars and I need a cute and nerdy girl to watch it with. Know any? So I kinda tease her by talking about her in third person and saying she's nerdy. But I also show interest by calling her cute. Number two, over a glass of wine. This is a neat little flirt you can do when a girl asks you for something. Let's say she asks you about what you're doing. If she's really interested or intrigued, you can say that it's something that you can only tell her over a glass of wine. Here's an example. The third example is called Yes Momentum. Yes Momentum is another word for compliance, which is based on the principle that if someone agrees to something, there's a greater chance that they'll agree to something else. Here's a great text that proposes a date activity while creating some Yes Momentum. Do you like bowling? Please say yes. The point of this text is by getting her to agree, you generate a bit of yes momentum, and then it's more likely that she'll agree when you ask her to meet up with you. Waiting too long to make a move is one of the seven deadly texting mistakes that lead to rejection. If you want more effective tips, I recommend you get the free seven deadly texting mistakes report. You can get it by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.